Welcome to Lex's world. So should weed be grinded up? I'll give you guys my take on it, though that's really all it is. It's just my take. Uh, and then I'll also be giving away a grinder at the end of the episode too, so stick around. Now I did do an episode way back on how to choose a first grinder, but I didn't really get into the best circumstances to use or not to use one, so let's do that today. Whether you should grind your weed depends a lot on how you're consuming it. On one hand, the grinder does remove a little bit of trichomes off the buds that get left behind inside the grinder, and not everything makes it down to the keef catcher. But on the other hand, grinding greatly increases usable surface area of the weed, which can be useful. If you're smoking joints, grind it up, for sure. If you just break up your weed by hand or use scissors, it's often too lumpy to roll a great joint with, and even if you can roll that joint, it'll often not burn evenly and will be prone to canoeing. Uh, you know, this. A pain in the butt. If you smoke with a pipe or a water pipe, then you could either um, grind or not grind. There's something to be said for the much slower burning of weed that isn't grinded. So not grinding it can actually make it last longer in typical pipes, bubblers, and bongs. If you consume THC with a vaporizer or make edibles, I again recommend grinding it up. Both vapes and cooking are low-intensity heat applications that work a lot more efficiently with the maximum surface area of the cannabis exposed. So there you go. As for me, as a vape guy, I always grind. Uh, one of the bonus reasons I use a grinder is that I enjoy the keef catcher at the bottom. There's nothing like opening it up every few months to discover that there's a big pile of keef that you can make something out of, like a basic hash puck, or simply a nice keef bowl that'll get you super stoned. Also today, the fine folks at OG Grinder uh, sent me this piece, and as usual, I'll give it away to you guys, uh, along with a brief review. So this grinder has fairly uh, decent threading, with a good thickness on it. Uh, it's got enough holes for easy fall through, which is often a problem in less expensive grinders. It's got a magnet of good strength, um, and a keef catcher that's actually crazy deep. I'll try to show it to you guys. Uh, this is the keef catching area. It's really got quite a bit to it. Um, overall, a solid grinder. Um, it can't compete with, say, um, a space case, but it's not really meant to, especially at the price point of these, which is like under 20 bucks. Uh, a link in the description to where you can get this one uh, for that cheap. The only complaint about this unit is that the keef catcher is so deep that the actual herb catching compartment is reduced in size. I'll try to show you guys. It's, um, I feel that it's a little bit too shallow for a full-size, you know, two-and-a-half-inch grinder. But for the below $20 price, it's tough to complain, since most grinders of this quality are closer to $25 or more right now. If you want to win this beauty, just go down into my video description, find my secret hashtag, and post it in a comment on any video other than this video. Contest ends at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on November 20th, 2017. Good luck, guys. Uh, detailed contest rules also in the description as usual. Have a good one. Subscribe. Hit that like button uh, if this was useful. And we'll see you next time.